Hello, I'm Colin Bradley. In this video, I'm going to show you how to produce an outline drawing from reference photographs using my square drawing grid system. Now, most people would like to draw accurately, and no matter which art medium we choose to work in, the basic drawing has to come first. Using the square drawing grids, my students are able to produce a quick and accurate drawing in a fraction of the time it would take a freehand drawing to be completed. So I'm going to show you how to draw three very different subjects using the grids and I'm sure you'll agree that the system takes away the frustration of trying to get it right. So let's get started. Let me show you what's in a square drawing pack. This will be the front cover Then we have full instructions. This is the one inch transparent grid. Then we have two other grids, half inch grid and a quarter inch grid. And I'll show you how we use those in a little while. We also give you three paper grids. These have got one inch squares, the same as the one inch transparent grid. And what we suggest you do with these is either have them photocopied at your local photocopy shop, or you can use your computer and you can then have an unlimited supply of them. Finally, we have the trace down graphite carbon. Now this graphite carbon is really, really great and you'll see how we're going to use that in a moment. This is the first picture we're going to be square drawing. Now to start off with, as I said, we need to cut this into two. I've already done that here because we're going to need this as well as the one inch grid in a moment. Now, put that to one side and let's bring back the picture. Now, what we've got to do here, and I would suggest you do this, is you attach this to a board. Now, I've got a very simple one. This is actually in the square drawing, so you could use this one. It's in, in the backing sheet for the carbon, but something similar. Now, what we do with that, get some tape over and take that on. Now, what's most important really is this mustn't move. Once we set this up, it mustn't move at all. So by putting it onto the board, it gives it a little bit more security and also the one inch grid. Now this is where we get a bit tricky, right? Let me come a little closer and I can show you what I mean. Now the idea here is to free the really important details like the eyes, the nose and the mouth. Let's move this up just a touch now. And I'll position that in such a way that I can see one eye clearly. You can't get both in, but that's not bad. If it's in the top half of that, you'll understand what I mean in a moment or two. Just bring it down just a bit more. Now that is just about perfect. Just here, I'm obscuring now just a little bit of the nose. So I can either come this way, which would be better to do because then I've got good lips good reference area on the nose, and I've got a good reference area in the eye. Okay, now fix it in that position. Now at the top, use some more tape and tape it along the top. This, the most important thing with square drawing is that you have it secure. That mustn't move. If it does, you're in trouble. Got it? Now that's perfect. Now that's the reference but now we want to draw it. I've got a quite a stout board here and it's a good idea to have one and again it's a good idea to tape it to that. Don't have to do this but it's a good idea because it keeps everything nice and firm. Sorry I'm bashing the camera stand. Okay now there we are. Now we've got that drawing, we've got our reference and we're ready to go. Well almost. Now this, area, this other grid, which is a half inch grid, you see is exactly one, four times the size of one of these. Now if, and later on, and I'll show you, I won't do it to start with because I want to get the outline in, but later on I want to bring this in. Now you, you, this has to be moved around, you can't have this attached to it. And you really only use one corner, but there are other reasons why I have a whole grid and I'll show you that in a moment. So you just put that on there. Now you can see what I've done now. I've got a tighter reference area. See? 
And remember I said about the nose area? Well, that now comes nicely in those squares. The lips come in those squares. And you do have a little bit jiggling around. And it's not critical, but it does help, as you will see in a little while. And we'll come back to that in just a tick. But let's get started with the actual drawing. And the first thing I'm going to be doing is drawing the outline of the picture following the grids. You'll notice too that we have here letters and we have numbers. Now the idea of this is you'll never get lost because if I'm, let's say for instance, I want to do that I, I've got 5D, 5D. That's where the I goes. Got it? Anyway, let me get started. As I say, I'll do the, I'll start off and talk about the, this for a little while and then I'll carry on without narration until I've got the whole of this image in. I'll come away a little bit because otherwise you won't see it all but uh, I'm sure you'll get the idea of that. 